This video will demonstrate using a transformation to send an email when we receive a Stripe subscription event. Continuing from the Stripe filtering demo, I'm going to delete the filter on our subscriptions only destination and add a transformation instead. Let's rename the rule set and open a new transformation in the editor. I already have some sample code ready, so I'll paste that in and we'll start filling in the missing pieces. Over in the Mail Slurp web app, I'll create a new inbox and copy the email address. I'll paste that into the transformed body payload that conforms to the Mail Slurp REST API for the inbox's endpoint. The email is going to include a simple message, the ID of the subscription that changed. But note that you have access to all of the data sent in the Stripe webhook payload to customize this message. We need to go back to Mail Slurp and get our API key. We'll copy it and go paste it in the hook deck transformation editors environment variable section. I'm using the variable name slurp API key. Filters and transformations work well together, but it is worth noting that transformations run before the filters. Here you can see we check if the request type matches customer dot subscription. And if not, we return the request unmodified in order to filter this request we will need to mark the request after our check. We'll add a new header, is subscription, and set the value to yes, which will be easy to filter on. Name and save the transformation and save the rule set. Now let's go back and copy our inbox ID from Mail Slurp so we can update the destination to point to the Mail Slurp API. We'll change our destination to api.mailslurp.com and add the inbox ID to the end of the inbox's resource URL. This works because HookDeck receives a post request from Stripe and makes a post request to MailSlurp. Other HTTP methods would not work. I'm going to disable the CLI forwarding on the mock API so we can test this using the HookDeck CLI and Stripe CLI. Let's go into a terminal and run HookDeck login. Note that I'm logged in to the correct account and workspace. I already have an echo server listening on port 8765, so I'm going to use the listen command to forward my webhooks to that port. Now I can use the Stripe CLI to trigger a customer subscription created event. We can see all the supporting fixtures that are used, and all of them will create webhooks that will be sent to our endpoint. We can refresh our Mail Slurp inbox, and we can see that we received an email. Let's go back and add a filter so we only receive subscription events. This filter will be on headers, and let's find an event that has the correct is subscription header present. Now we can write a simple filter to match on that value, test it, and save it. Notice we now have our Mail Slurp Stripe subscription transformation and a filter on the connection. Let's go back to our terminal and trigger the customer subscription created event again. Now we can see we only received a single event and our filter is working. If we go back to Mail Slurp, we can confirm we received another email. This is just one example of the flexibility transformations brings to your webhook workflows with HookDeck. 